Good morning, my name is Anna and I'm one of the embryologists here at, at this Tarmosa Reproduction Clinic in Alicante and the aim of this video is to solve some questions and doubts regarding embryo quality. Well, first of all, I would like to say that embryo rating is a tool that us, the embryologists, use in order to determine which are the embryos with the highest implantation potential and therefore are the best ones to transfer or to freeze. There are many ways of rating the embryos and personally speaking, in our clinic, we have adapted the rating system from the Spanish Society of Reproductive Biology and we classify the embryos in four different groups. A, B, C, or D. B in grade A, the preferred ones with the highest potential, and D, the poorest. Our decision on grading the embryos is based on the inner cell mass and the trophoctoid morphology. If we are speaking about uh, blastocyst stage, we also consider all the embryo development and some morphokinetic parameters and other parameters such as uh, fragmentation or blastocyst expansion. Secondly, I would like to explain the difference between or well, the main difference between a grade A and B blastocyst. On the one hand, grade A blastocyst uh, have an excellent structure and perfect timing. They have a cohesive inner cell mass, a perfect them with many tightly packed cells. So that's mainly what's a grade A embryo, the perfect one, the, the, the one that appears on the book. On the other hand, a weight B embryo have a smaller inner cell mass or maybe could have a trophectoderm with a lower number of cells or even a slightly slower development. But uh, nevertheless, they are still weight embryos and have a higher uh, implantation potential so they can perfectly convey on a pregnancy. This brings us to the following question. Can poor quality embryos C or D implant? Of course they can, but it is a matter of probabilities. I mean, if even though the possibilities of uh, implanting aren't as high as if we transfer a grade A embryo, no one can deny that there are poor grade, or, uh, poor grade embryos that make pregnancies in the same way that grade A embryos don't necessarily lead to a pregnancy. Um, finally, I would like to highlight that um, there are, even though that grade uh, embryo quality is important, uh, there not, it's not the only factor. There are many other factors that can also cause implantation failure. For instance, so, um, lifestyle, uh, anatomical abnormalities in the endometrial cavities, endometrial receptivity. For example, recent studies have suggested that uh, each patient has its own implantational window. That is the per period when the uterus is completely receptive for the implantation. Or also it could be the aneuploidy weight. For example, it's different if the patient is under 40s than if it's above 40s, speaking about aneuploidies. So that's, there are many factors and that's why uh, in our clinic, our policy is to treat each patient individually and perform all the tests needed in order to achieve the best outcomes.